Yo, what's up guys? So, we're finally here. Also, apologies if I sound like a little bit upset or like, you know, less, less is energetic than usual. I already recorded this video, but audio problems happened and now I gotta redo it, so... I did sadly end up seeing everything that I'm about to showcase, but it won't change my reaction at all. I still think everything that I'm saying is true, so... With that being said, let's just hop right into it. So, as you all know, Kaiju Titanosaurus was remodeled. Kaiju Star Poseidon, I'll just go over everything that's been remodeled. So, also they added new eggs, I'll go into that as well. First, we're gonna go into Kaiju Titano though. So, boom. We got this bad boy right here. Kaiju Titano. Looks a lot better. A lot, a lot better. Got bigger as well. So, as you guys can see, they removed the fur. Thank God. Um, they kind of shaped the head up more to make it look more accurate to the Kaiju universe. No, not the game. Like the actual Kaiju universe. So it just it just looks a lot better in general. So first we're going to start off with the calls. I don't think they changed. Get the R. Yeah, they didn't change. It's the G. And then the C. So the calls didn't change. The range, I think... Got a little bit better? Yeah. Range is pretty good. Nothing to complain about. So, we got the eating animation. Looks very nice. Got the walking animation, which also looks very nice. This is the sprint. The animations look very, very good. Whoever did them, props to you. Then we got the attacks. So this is just the normal click. You notice the bite. Then we got the AoE. It's like a little stomp, kind of. And then we got the swim. And finally we got an up and down cycle in swimming. Unlike the other model. So everyone's probably very excited about this. So this is Kaiju Titano. Very good model. Very good animations. Even the range isn't bad. So it's it's all in all a good solid remodel. So on to the next, we're gonna do the two Kaijus first. So next we got Kaiju Star Poseidon. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Kaiju Star Poseidon. Sir Blameson has been working his ass off on this game, I swear. Um so this is the walking animation. Okay, bro. This is, starts raining. Uh, walking animation, very nice. Then we got the fly. It looks very good for a big creature like this. Okay. Then... Okay, we got the attack. So all three the head bite. Look at that, by the way. He made the animations very nice, so when you're idle, the heads start like picking with each other. Alright, so this is the next thing, which is honestly like probably the coolest thing in my opinion, the AoE. So the beams, they go down, I don't think they'll hit anything, but they go down like proportional to where you are in the air. So if you're just on the ground, it'll go to the ground, but like if you're in the air, it'll go all the way to the grounds, which is really sick in my opinion. He also went ahead and changed the calls, so I'll show that now as well. This is the R. One more time. Alright, this is the G. G one more time. And then last, we got C. Actually amazing. One more time. So that's it for the calls. Now we got the animations. This is the drinking. This is the walk. Then we got the sprint. And this is how the AOE looks on the ground by the way. Very nice. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be using this, overpaying for it as well. So yeah, that's Kaiju Sorrow. So what next, what next? I think AV will be next. 
All right, so here we have the Ava Nitus remodel. So this is by the same person who made the Indominus, I don't remember the name, but the Indominus looking skin or Indoraptor, whatever. So that's why it kind of looks like it has inspiration because it literally is the same modeler, but it looks good, really good. Less blocky, better animations, is all around better. So they didn't change the calls, I already remember that. Let's just look at all the animations. So this is the R. Then we got the G. And then the C. So the calls look better animation wise. We got the drinking animation. This is the attacking animation. This is the AoE. <laughs> Literal for half jump scare. This is the sprinting animation. Freaking scary as hell. The walk looks very nice as well. This is the gliding animation. It looks <laughs> even more like a flying squirrel than before. I really like how the tail kind of like flaps, kind of. This is the gliding down. Looks nice. And from what I know, the range is pretty decent. Oof. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, that, that's not terrible. Alright, and here we have the eating animation. Looks very nice. Okay, and uh, that's it for AV. So now on to the eggs, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We got Rake Mother first. Bro, I'm telling you, Rake Mother is sick. When I saw it the first time, I, I just wish I could have caught my reaction because it's really, really nice. I just wish they would have made it an omnivore. That's like my only, I guess, nitpick with this update. Also, don't mind the DNA. It's because of the eggs. So this is the Rake Mother remodel. Looks sick scary as hell so we got the calls the calls are probably like one of the best things about it this is the r the r one more time this is the g Scary as hell. The G again. And then we got the C. One more time. Calls are actually sick. But you can't look at this thing and say, oh, dude, this is a herbivore. Like, they need to make this an omnivore. Alright, so this is the drinking animation. Very nice. I like it a lot. Um, then we got the eating animation. Like, look how it eats, too. Like, you can't say that this is thing eats trees. Like, it looks like it eats meat. Meat and that's all. This thing should not be a herbivore. Alright, so now we got the attack. Better look at it. See attack. And I really like how they made one of the claws, I guess you could call it. Smaller than the other one. It's really nice. Alright, and then this is the AoE. One more time. These are the animations. The walk. This is the sprint. That's <laughs> actually scary as hell, bro. And I think that should be it for Rake Mother. So now we're gonna go into the crossovers. Alright, so from rarest to least rarest, we're gonna go it's an uh, it's a Murus Raptor skin by the way. Crossover Ostro Lavenator. Okay, here we have the crossover Ostro. Very nice. Good animations. Um, this is the R. This is the G. And then probably my favorite call, the C.
Do I gotta say why? No. Alright, so this is the walking animation going into the sprinting. Now we got the attack. <laughs> Just a slap. It could do either right or left, by the way. I think it's random. Uh, then we have the AoE. <laughs> Another FNAF jump scare. Then we got the drinking animation. Very nice. Range is pretty good as well. Alright, so this is the eating animation. Like, scoops in his hand and eats it. It's pretty cool. Alright, but that's it for Ostro. So, we're gonna go into Amarg now. Should be the second rarest. Alright, so here we have crossover Amarga. Looks very nice. I love the colors. So, we got the walking animation. Into the running. The running is very nice, by the way. I love how it, like, moves. So, we got the R. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure each crossover has custom RARs, but I, I, I'm not sure. I just don't really memorize the calls of the classic. So, this is the R again. This is the G. And then the C. The animations are really good. Alright, and then we got the eating. We got the drinking animation. Very nice. This is the attack animation. Just a little headbutt. And then the AoE. So it like, goes on its hind legs and stomps. It looks nice in the in like the forest area. It just looks cool. But that's it for a Marg. I think we're going to Serato now. Now me personally, I honestly kind of wish this was just a, like a, a Ceratosaurus remodel. Because as of recording, the Ceratosaurus model is kind of... Meh. This just looks like really remodel potential worthy, I guess you could say. Like it just looks like a Serato. Like you think Serato, you think of this looking model type of thing. But uh, anyways, this is the R. I love the bass on it. The R again. Next we got the G. And then my favorite, the C. Alright, so this is the walking into the sprinting. This is the drinking. Now once again, the range is pretty alright. Like, all these models have a pretty decent range. Alright, so now we have the eating animation. Very nice. And I think that should be it for Serato. And now, we're moving on to our last one. This update was huge, by the way. I just couldn't make a longer video because... The last one I recorded got corrupted, so I'm not gonna like <laughs> do it all over again. Uh, so the last crossover we have is Patchy. Now bear with me, my Patchy's a baby, so it's not gonna be like, I guess, as impactful as it would be adult, but you'll be able to get like the gist of it. Alright, so here we have crossover Patchy. Very small, <laughs> obviously. Um, let's just start with the walk into the sprinting. Very nice. We got the drinking animation. Mm, I wish it would duck its head a little bit more. Not terrible though. Eating animation. I do like its idle animations though. Uh, now we got the R. And we got the G. And then the C. This is the attack animation. And then the AoE. Double headbutt. Oh, 
All right, and uh, that should be the heal update. All right, once again, I do sincerely apologize for how like short this video was. I made a very, you know, it was longer and more like talking, but the file got corrupted and the audio was like off for half of the video. So yeah, that's scratch that idea, I guess. But I also apologize for not uploading for a week went on vacation, so I don't know, it came out of nowhere to be honest. But um, back to normal uploads, you know, I'll try to cover the this week or last week's update where they kind of made more tokens available and all the tradable stuff. But that's really it for this update. Chicken, keep doing a good job on being consistent with updates. It makes it a lot more fun to record on this game. But uh, with that being said, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.